lightning flash! Shiver! Nice and spicy! Thunderclap! Let it rain! Take this! Following thunder!
Astra Abyssosk. Welcome to the Adventurers Guild. Thank you for completing today's commissions. Here is your reward. Add Astra... Traveler, Paimon, you're here too? Yuffie, Shinobu! Here for some hot pot, huh? What's the occasion? No, it's nothing like that. Wanmin restaurants just closed for a couple of days. But it's nice to try somewhere different for a change. Su Arnyang's hot pot is pretty good, and you can't get it at Wanmin restaurant. Well, it was partly our fault. Recently, some old classmates from the Tongwen Academy got in touch and said they were organizing a get-together. Yenfei's the most senior among us, since she's the most qualified, so she got to pick the location. And she booked Wanmin Restaurant. The turnout was a lot higher than expected, and in the space of two days, we somehow got through all of the restaurant's stock for the week ahead. 
<sighs> Boss's enormous appetite was also a significant contributing factor. He went a little crazy. Chef Mao was pretty wiped out by the end, but he had a huge smile on his face. It was the best business he's had in months. The only thing is, it'll take him at least a couple days to fully restock. Bull Checker's here too? Oh, Paimon's surprised we haven't seen him. Those horns stick out like two sore thumbs. Yeah, when he heard I was meeting up with some old classmates, he got very excited and decided he was coming with me. His logic was, and I quote, any classmate of Shinobu's is a classmate of mine. Notwithstanding the fact that Boss has never studied a day in his life, I think he just feels that he didn't get enough chances to indulge his taste buds last time he was in Liyue. That other kid you guys brought with you, though, what was his name again? Oh yeah, Grandmaster Hanakado. He seems like a smart cookie. You probably didn't notice because you were busy chatting to your classmates at the time, but he was helping Chef Mao out in the kitchen, uh, trying to pick up some Liyue cooking skills. I suspect he just wanted to learn how to make some new dishes to feed to his own Ikabuto and make them stronger. Grandmaster Hanakado? Uh, where do we know that name from? Oh yeah! Didn't we meet him during that beetle battle thing that Bullchucker organized that one time? That's right. Good memory, Paimon. After the near catastrophe that was the beetle brawl, Hanakado became an ally of the Arataki gang. He and Boss regularly hang out to have practice matches and discuss Onikabuto rearing strategies. But to his credit, a lot of the things he ropes Boss into doing in the name of beetle brawling actually result in Boss doing some real work for a change. It's made things a lot easier for me. For instance, they've decided to spend a few days helping Chef Mao restock the kitchen. Partly to thank him for the epic feast. And partly because they would like to use the opportunity to look for new ingredients to boost their Onikabuto's performance. I think they're out looking for crabs at Guyun Stone Forest right now, with Miss Shangling and Mr. Guoba. They all seem to get along great. Guoba's already made friends with Crimson Staff, as Ito calls it. And, uh, something something Beetle King, or whatever Hanakado's is called. They've been out for quite a while, though. Shouldn't they be back by now? Unless something put them in a playful mood. In which case, it's anyone's guess what kind of mess they might be in by now. Well, now Paimon wants to join in the fun! Crabs from Glee and Stone Forest? Mmm, Paimon bets they taste great! Why don't we go see if they need our help? The sooner one mean restaurant is fully stocked, the sooner we get to eat there again! And while we're at it, we can see what Bullchucker and Grandmaster Hanakado are really up to over there. So you two are gonna head over? I think that's a great idea! The Traveler, Paimon, and Ito make a good team. Not everyone can get through to him, but he usually listens to you two. You make a good point. Well, thanks for checking up on them, you two. Ugh, I'm suddenly feeling a bit warm. Maybe I've been eating too much spicy food lately? Oh no, you poor thing! It could be a fever, or maybe the humidity's making you overheat. Wait here, I'll go get you some iced tea. Ugh, I'm s- Oh no! Ah, I see 
it now. A hard shell, a whole bunch of legs, looks like a born warrior. The crab is the Onikabuto of the sea. Throw one of these bad boys in the ring and your Onikabuto will have to seriously up its game. That's right, Oni King. Technically, the crab belongs to a different species, but it has all the qualities of the perfect warrior beetle. Pitting Onikabuto against crabs during their training is a surefire way to rapidly improve their strength. Then it's time for Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King to train harder than ever before. No rest until they've flipped every crab in the area onto its back. And once they're done, we'll just need to stoop down and scoop them up. No more chasing crabs all over the beach. La, 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 la. Looks like Xiang Ling and Guoba are part of the gang now. Uh huh? Traveler Paimon! Fancy meeting you here! Are you guys out for a walk or something? Hey, Xiang Ling! Hey, Guoba! Well, we were going to gorge ourselves at one mean restaurant, but then we ran into Yanfei and Shinobu, who told us you were closed for a few days. So we figured we'd come find you guys and see if you needed any help. Huh, you guys. <laughs> Thanks for being such loyal customers. It's so kind of you to help. With Mr. Ito and the Grandmaster helping me for the last couple of days, we've actually got most of the things we need now. All that's left for us to get are some fresh crabs. And Crimson Staff and Ironclad Beetle King will be able to round them up for us in no time. If everything goes to plan. Uh-oh. I may have spoken too soon. It's a geofishing hatchling! Boat checker! Hanakata, watch out! Hold on, stay calm. I'll assess the situation. Hmm. Hard shell? Check. Legs? Not too many. But it more than makes up for that with the whole rolling thing. Yeah, looks like a mean fighter. This is what you want to train your own Ikabuto against. Uh, <clears throat> how right you are, Oni King. With a training partner like this, an Oni Kabuto is sure to reach the apex of its abilities. Uh, what? Uh, are they serious right now? Wait, I think I recognize that thing. It's always rolling around on a nearby island. It's made quite a reputation for itself as far as Guyun Jiu bishops go. People have taken to calling it Crystal Tornado. It's because if you ever set foot on its little island, then it whooshes over and gives you a nasty whack on the head. It's really aggressive. How did you come to learn that? Oni King, allow me to send in the troops. I shall monitor the battle from a safe distance to assess our enemy's prowess. Go, Ironclad Beetle King! Test your challenger to its limits! Ah! Ironclad Beetle King! Oh, one hit and it's all over? I don't believe it. That, 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 that's not possible! Okay, listen up, Grandmaster. The glorified pet rock is clearly tougher than it looks. Time to show it what we're really made of. From what I've seen, our opponent has a lot of brute force, but no finesse. Lugging all that weight around is a recipe for crude and clumsy attacks. And if you don't land the hit, it ain't worth squat! Luckily for us, our Oni Kabuto have a little thing called agility on their side. Go, Crimson Staff! Dodge the limbs and tail, wait for an opening, and aim for the... Uh, belly. Oni King, shall I send in some more Oni Kabuto, or...? Uh, I, I will... You, um, what? Wait, what's Goba doing? No! Le, 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 le. Wait! The bishop can understand Guoba? Huh. He just up and left. So, to answer your question from a moment ago, Paimon, 
I found out about Crystal Tornado's aggressive tendencies the last time we came to gather crabs in Gangster Forest. Tornado gave Golba a big old bash on the head the moment he saw him. But then Tornado fell unconscious and apparently wasn't seen for weeks afterwards. I guess he's finally recovered from his injuries. Man, what a cool guy. I mean, I figured he was a pretty epic dude just from the look of him, but I've never seen someone just stare an enemy into submission like that. There's only one possible conclusion. This is a warrior with strength, the likes of which I've never seen before. I must say, I concur. I don't know how, but Guoba Sun simply commanded that hard shelled beast to stand down and retreat at once. Come to think of it, he seems like a pro at catching crabs, too. Hmm. Guoba Sun clearly has some sort of power that lets him bend the minds of shelled organisms to his will. Ah! Oh, that's it! The truth has been hiding in plain sight all this time. Guoba-san is a virtuoso beetle battler. With his skills, he can direct an Onikabuto's each and every move. Huh? Huh? Of course. Yeah, that makes total sense. <laughs> These are the kind of brainwaves that make you the Arataki Gang's greatest ally. You see, if we can get Guoba-san to teach us the art of shelled organism mind control, we'll be unstoppable. The entire beetle fighting world will be our oyster! <gasps> can we stop discussing what special powers Guoba may or may not have? We have to get these crabs back before too long or they'll go bad. And then this whole trip will have been a waste. Right! Get a move on, bug checker! Shinobu's waiting for you! Also, we want to eat. Huh? Wait, when did we get two new people? Oh, compadre! <laughs> if it isn't the Yoni King's right hand. Oh, and of course, the flying lavender. Uh, <clears throat> sorry. Sky cleaving white iron lavender melon. Wait. Oh, man. Don't tell me you saw me lose that beetle fight just now. Oh, so humiliating. Oh, come on. Nothing to be embarrassed about. Oni Kabuto don't stand a chance against the Geo Bishop Hatchling. Next time, just give it a couple of whacks with your club. But that would defeat the whole purpose. Uh, let me explain. Now, it's no secret that you've kicked a fair share of butt in your time. And from what I hear, that includes some of the biggest, most powerful, and meanest butt around. So how'd you do it, huh? Were you born stronger than your most fearsome foe? No! Do you rock up to every fight believing that your odds of winning are 100%? Of course not! You start with an impossible goal, defeating the unbeatable enemy. And then you do whatever you gotta do to achieve it. Because even you can't know how much potential you have until you push yourself past your limits. That's how you make yourself not just stronger, but stronger than you ever imagined you could be. Flee the fight once, you'll probably flee the next time. And the time after that, next thing you know, you're that boring little twerp who never had the guts to put himself out there. Because when you flee the fight, all you're really running away from is the person you could have become. Uh, what's gotten into Bullchucker? He actually said something that made sense. For once, Paimon has nothing to argue back. <sighs> you hear that? Boba's getting hungry. Crystal Tornado's gone now anyway, and your Oni Kabuto won't be ready to fight again anytime soon. So, are you just gonna stand here gawking, or...? Chef Sama makes a good point. We are still far from being worthy enough to seek the tutelage of the mighty sensei, Guoba-san. Man. I have heard tell of a great contest of fine warriors that was once held in this place. We stand on hollowed ground, and the very air we breathe is abuzz with the might of great duelists. I say we set up a ring here and now. I shall summon the mightiest beetle battlers of Liyue, and as iron sharpens iron, we will hone our skills and training with them. Then, and only then, will we be ready to seek the guidance of Guoba-san. Once we have learned his ways, we will track down that shelled beast and do battle against it once more. Paimon's got a... well, a feeling about this, but not actually sure if it's a good one or a bad one. Uh-huh. Oh. Oh, oh! 
Oh, I'm with you, Grandmaster. Yeah, you're saying the time has come to unveil the plan. This is the moment. It's time for the long-awaited Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp. That's right. There's no time to lose, Oni King. Let's set up the arena. Hey! Hey! We weren't done talking to you yet! Ugh, unbelievable. Look at them. Not a care in the world. What did they say it was called again? The Arataki... Something something? Anyway, some sort of beetle fighting tournament, right? I think Hanakato might have mentioned it before. If I wasn't so busy with work at the restaurant, I'd love to take Woba along and watch. But right now, the top priority is dealing with all these fresh crabs. Come on, let's head back! Shinobu was saying the Arataki gang came to Liyue for her classmates' reunion, right? Won't throwing an impromptu beetle-fighting competition interfere with their plans? <sighs> well, not much we can do about it except to head back to Wanmin and tell Shinobu. Shangling, Traveler, and Paimon! Uh, wait, where are the other two? <sighs> Let me guess, Ito and Hanakato are up to their usual antics? We'll fill you in shortly! First I need to get all these pristine ingredients safely stored away! The Mist Flower Corollas won't keep the crabs cool for much longer! Plus, the Traveler and Paimon are valued customers, eagerly awaiting a grand feast. I'll get cooking, then we can catch up while we eat. Arataki Blazing Armor Beetle Battle Boot Camp? <sighs> That doesn't bode well. It won't be long before things get out of hand. We're guests here, which means we're supposed to be on our best behavior. Leave them to me. I'll put a stop to it. Hmm, I don't know. I think it could be fun. Anyway, don't stress. Beetle fighting sounds like a great event idea. According to the Comprehensive Compendium of Liyue La, we just need to notify the relevant office of the Ministry of Civil Affairs, and they'll issue a permit pretty much right away. You never know. Maybe you'll make some new friends with this event. Then you'll have even more people to hang out with when you next come to Liyue. Yeah, and you can bring them all to Wanmin Restaurant for your meals. <sighs> Wait, first the event, and now you're already planning our next trip? Uh, given the Arataki gang's financial situation... Ah, oh, come on. You gotta learn to cut loose more. You came all this way. You should be focused on catching up with old friends, making some new ones, and just generally hanging out and doing lots of fun stuff. I need to be at the Ministry of Civil Affairs shortly for something else anyway, so I can get the ball rolling for Ito's thing while I'm there. All right. I'll handle that while you guys head back to Ito and help get the venue set up. I'll join you later and bring the permit with me. Yanfei is in a good mood today. She didn't take any persuading to help out with the event. Well, event planning's right up her alley. She was an officiator in the Masterful Chefs Contest, and she has a lot of contacts because of her work. She's also on vacation at the moment, and her old friend Shinobu's in town. That's definitely put her in the mood to have some fun. Well, I've missed my chance to discuss the issue of our funds. Guess I've got no choice but to deal with Boss directly now. Traveler, Paimon, thanks for all your help so far. I promise I'll make it up to you the next time we meet. Uh, you mean you don't need us to come with you? Well, if Ito's serious about defeating that Geovishop hatchling with Oni Kabuto, Paimon's kind of curious to see how everything goes down. 
now that you mention it, didn't you help boss out a lot at the last one of these? The almighty Arataki Extraordinary and Exhilarating Extreme Beetle Brawl? Oh, we didn't really help out. We just played a few matches. But it was actually super fun. <laughs> Either way, it sounds like you understand Boss's perspective far better than I do, so maybe you'll be able to help me talk some sense into him. I'll take all the help I can get. Sure, or, uh, you know, maybe we could just let him go ahead with it, huh? 